Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you at the New York Open. Lunchtime here in Europe. 9th of May. Relatively pissed off. Uh, because I failed in my attempt to get long Sterling Yen. And I failed in my attempt to get long Euro Yen. Both of them stopped out at break even. Both of them much higher now, so that is annoying. Swiss Yen worked out, but uh, less juice really. Um, Swiss Yen 320 was fine, so we're long Swiss Yen, trading a core long. Uh, yen cross is higher, even though it was the insane trade this morning paid. Equities are higher, uh, nothing makes sense. Dollar yen is higher. In a time where you would expect things to be massively risk off, things are effectively risk on. No idea. We're going to stay on this theme, uh, especially with the sterling yen going into Super Tuesday tomorrow. Probably some sterling shorts can get cleared, but as you can see, the daily bar yesterday, if we close up near the highs today, uh, this is a nice platform for a retrace back up to 150. So this is the game plan in sterling yen. Euro yen, same sort of a deal. You want to get yourself a nice average. Um, we're going to make a new high today. If we close above yesterday's high, we're going to look for a series of higher lows and higher highs on the dailies to try and compensate for this uh, smash and grab move lower. A lot will depend on the dialogue uh, out of Washington, D.C. today, and we, of course, will keep our eyes out at S&Ps. Looks like we're going to break these highs here. We are still sellers up at 2,700, so it's eight-tenths of a percent away. There's nothing to do here yet. We we're just watching, uh, lurking in the shadows. We have no idea why the dollar's not lower, but it's not. We're not going to force this. Uh, and we're just going to focus on this cross yen on the long side and also focus on Kiwi uh, in this sort of faux risk on environment. Good chance that there's some Kiwi shorts that'll be tidied up before the RBNZ tonight. So we're buying low ones in, in Kiwi, trying to stay core long. That's really about it. Uh, we got PPI today, which usually doesn't move the needle too much. Uh, and we've got building permits out of Canada. The next real important piece of foreign exchange news is uh, RBNZ, RBNZ tonight, uh, 11 p.m. Swiss time. Never a great time to trade. Liquidity's going to suck. Uh, but if you got Kiwi on, you got to be around for it. So heads up, 11 o'clock Swiss time. That would be 5 p.m. in good old New York City. Good luck this afternoon, guys, in Europe. And good, good day ahead to all my North American pals. I will catch you guys the New York Open tomorrow. Ciao.